And hello from Cape Town in South Africa, everyone. It is the Writer's Corner live show. Welcome to our one-year anniversary show. Don't go away. We'll be back in just a moment. Hello everyone and a huge hearty welcome from myself Projeti Lembanda in Cape Town in South Africa. I am your host and I'm also a global Goodwill ambassador and a live streaming advocate who loves to help brands, entrepreneurs and authors tell their stories and have a great online experience. And my amazing co-host for the past year yeah. is Mary Elizabeth Jackson. And mm -hmm. she's the award-winning author of the Poolish's Children's Book Series. And she's working on some exciting other stuff at the moment. Mary, can you believe it's a whole year since we've been doing this? I'm just, I'm so excited. I mean, it just has gone by so fast. I mean, I feel like we just started and here we are. And, you know, we, we just had the privilege of, of interviewing so many awesome, wonderful writers and you know uh, publishers illustrators sometimes they're all three in one you know um it, what a blessing this has been what a great journey you know that we've we've been privileged to be able to do this and i can't even believe it's a year we're so excited i know i i can hardly believe that it's been um a full year that we've been doing the writer's corner live show i mean i remember when we first started a year ago we didn't even know what we were getting ourselves into we didn't actually um do all that much planning we just decided this is something that we'd like to investigate and we just kept going and you know as time went on it just got better and better and we met so many awesome authors along the way um you know it's been a thrill for me and i know it has been for you as well and Absolutely. so today we've um we've got the privilege of having two awesome guests with us and they're special guests for a specific reason. Absolutely, yeah, and I was just, actually one of them I'm just communicating with, telling him that uh, that's why I was looking down at my phone when you were talking, because we're trying to get him on. And, um, but yes, both authors hold a very special place for, for each for us, and, and especially, um, I, um, we have Terry Poland on, who was uh, with us on our very first show, and we really didn't know what we were doing when we started out, and it's kind of, doors have opened up and paths have been made clear along the journey of this, and it's been very, very exciting along the way, and it's so exciting also to follow the journeys of the authors that we've interviewed, and their next book's coming out, and you know, uh, other exciting things going on in their lives and, and what they're preparing for for the future and different books in their series. And, you know, it's just been so exciting to connect with them on Facebook as well um, and, and be able to celebrate with them along their journeys, you know, and um, it's, it's, um, it's, it's been a, a real honor, hasn't it, to be able to do this. It absolutely has, you know, um, and I mean, Terry and 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 um, and Thornton hold a special place in our hearts and always will because they were there with us right in the beginning when yes. we were still learning the ropes and trying to figure out how we're going to run the show and what we're going to do. And um, to have them back on our one year anniversary is nothing but, you know, short of amazing. Yeah, yeah, that we're all still around. <laughs> <laughs> you know that, that we actually are we're walking the path we're we're in the journey we're living the dreams that we want to live not the nightmares the dreams right so we're uh and we're just moving forward we're trying to make things um you know we're just we're trying to make a really awesome fun life experience for ourselves you know and those in our lives Oh, absolutely, absolutely. So let's hope that um, that Thornton is able to join us soon because it'll be really great to be able to have him join us as well. But he's Shogun living the dream. He's he's actually yeah. living the author dream, isn't he? <laughs> 
he absolutely is. I think, as you said, you know, rightly so, that is a dream for most authors to be able to to do what he is going to be doing now. Mm. But, um, you know, there's, there's always hope. There's always hope. There's a, there's a local story here, you know, of someone, um, and we're going to have him on our show pretty soon, who was standing on street corners with a little placard, literally a placard, begging people to... Um, to help him get his book published That's and it's just a few it's just a few months later now and he's a best-selling author i mean it just blows your mind it's, it's one of the <laughs> yeah. reasons that i want to just keep doing the show you know because we get to interview awesome people like that so while we're waiting for thornton to um to get his browser going so that he can join us. Otherwise, Thornton, if you're listening to us, then just use your phone. Join on your phone if you're not getting it right on your computer. But shall we bring um, Terry on to join us in the meantime? Absolutely, absolutely. Let's do that. Hello, Terry, and welcome to the show. Well, thank you. I can't believe it's been a year. I, I know. For the first one. <laughs> I know. Okay, so did you have your second book published? You didn't have the second book published by the show last year, right? I did. It had only been out about a month. Okay, so you have to catch us up on your journey, like in this last year, because you're working, and then let us know what you're working on, too. Oh, the past year, I have gone to tons of book fests. I've met so many great readers. I, I love going to book fests. I'm with my people then. You can talk about books all day long, and that's my happy place. So I'm, I'm still, I, I just recently updated the Gemini Connection, the description on it, because I wasn't happy with what was on the back, and I think that might have been pushing readers away or not grabbing their interest. That's what I want to say, because the the reviews have all been great. They, I mean, the average is over four stars on Amazon and on Goodreads. And I am getting ready to turn in my third book, which is also a young adult wow. sci-fi. And that one is tentatively entitled Subject A36, which will be book one in the Colony series. So that is scheduled for publication February 13th of 2020. And so um, can you tell us what the, just, can you just tell us what the titles of your books are, including the new one, if you, if that's okay? Sure. Um, the first one was a young adult horror and that was called Sarah. With the title on that, I did not know until five minutes before I sent it to my <laughs> publisher what it would be. Wow. I struggled with the title on that one. <laughs> well, the second one was The Gemini Connection, and that's a young adult sci-fi fantasy. I knew from probably the first month of working on that what the title would be. And then with this third book, it's been called book three for a year and a half, I guess. <laughs> so I, I got ideas from my beta reader, from my editor. And so it looks like it's going to be subject A36, book one of the Colony series, which will be a two book series. Okay, are you doing the same publisher? Or is it through Black Rose? It is. Okay, well, congratulations. That's very exciting. Thank you. Well done. That is very that is very exciting. Tell me, for for you on your third book now, did the journey as an author does it become easier um, as you go along, or it is has each book that gets published got its own challenges? I think well for me anyway, each one has its own challenges. With my first book, I wrote in a linear fashion. I went from the beginning to the end. With my second book, I wrote with two different point of views. I had twin brothers and I wrote a chapter over here, a chapter over there, and then it was like a puzzle putting it all back together by the end to get it in the right order. This third book, I told someone the other day, it would be the death of me because <laughs> this one has been 
slow going. These characters have not wanted to communicate with me. And here in the past, I guess, six weeks, they finally said, oh, well, here's our story. Well, thank you. It's, you know, it's been a long wait. And we, I was down to crunch time. I had to have the book turned in by August 1st. So they've all been challenging. And one character who was supposed to be a minor character stepped forward and said, I don't think so. I am a bigger part of your book. So it's it's been interesting. And and if you think about your um your your writing style, has that evolved as you moved from book to book, or do you find that your your style has remained consistent? I think mine has been fairly consistent. Um I, it's been a little bit easier to write. Well, to get in the minds of my characters with the exception of this past book, but it, once you're there, things just seem to come more. It's uh, now that I know how important a, uh, a character profile is and how much that can add to your story. It's made a, a huge difference for me getting for well-rounded characters, getting down into that backstory. Right. Right. And we want to say a huge big welcome to Thornton. Hello there. <laughs> Hi. Welcome hey, to the show. Hi. Good to see you. I, I, that I'm was glad a little, you're here. Thank you. It was a little complicated getting in here. Uh, the Apparently my iPad's not set up for that. And then I'm, I'm talking on my MacBook right now. So MacBook Pro. Awesome. Ah, well, I use a MacBook as well, and, and I don't have any issues with it, so it works, it works well. So glad that you were able to join us, and uh, welcome to the show, and congratulations on your amazing news. Thank you. Yeah. I don't know if Terry, I don't know if Terry knows about Thornton's news or not, but before we talk about that, I wanted to ask Terry, are you still, with the books that you're writing, because Thornton, she's just signed her contract for uh, her third book, that's awesome. going to have two from there and she is signed with black rose awesome. it comes out in 2020 correct mm -hmm. right in and, february and february mm -hmm. so you're writing ya and i think i remember the last time we spoke you had talked about your like the viewpoint you write from is like a teenager correct correct okay um, are you a male are perspective you staying, right and you're staying in that same frame of mind for these books as well I am. Mm -hmm. Okay, cool. I think sure. it's I think it's really um, I think it's cool to be able to talk to people about that because um, I mean I always wonder and I'm sure Thornton does and you probably do and Bergetti does is you know what is the background behind the story where is it coming from you know Bergetti always likes to ask people are there any characters in your books that are people in your real life and do they know it? <laughs> <laughs> well. Not so far. I, I will say I've, uh, I mean, wh whatever you say around me, it's, uh, it may wind up in a book. I've taken <laughs> some from my friends. I've taken quotes from my sons, from their friends. So, I mean, it, I'm, I have boys, all their friends are boys for the most part. And so, and I write from a, a male perspective. <laughs> so so we, it's we all have free that's now. interesting. <laughs> yes. That's why I thought you should share that, but we have to be careful, Ron Terry, what we say. So. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm so excited for you. And Terry, I don't know if you know Thornton's news, but he's kind of living the dream that all of us writers would like to uh, would like to live. And we thought it would be really exciting for him to be able to talk about that today on our year show, um, because that's kind of what well, it's, it's a dream that we all have to go to be able to go this far with it. So, um, you know, Thornton, I don't know if you want to just tell everybody what just happened last week with uh, one of your books. Well, first of all, thank you for inviting me on the show, but all of you actually yeah. for inviting me on the show. We're supposed and to all have birthday hats on, but we don't have them on today. One year anniversary, you would have said. Um, <laughs> and, but I do have some really major news too, before I get to that. Um, I don't know if, if you've told him about this new book here, a profile of a hit songwriter. No, because you have got a launch for that. The launch is coming out. There, it's a big week for, for me in every way. This is uh, the new book, uh, Profile of a Hit Songwriter, uh, by Lacey Carpenter and myself. And it's um, it, uh, we have uh, two book launches, book signing launches on um, Friday and Saturday at the Nashville Convention Center, Music City Convention Center. It's big. And uh, we have a launch party at the National Songwriters Association International 
which I believe Mary will be there. She's going to be broadcasting live from Facebook. Yeah, I'm going to I'm going to do a Facebook live. Yes. And then on Saturday, Lacey Carpenter and I will be. Lacey Carpenter's had three books out published, and this is on Hal Leonard, by the way, Center Stream Hal Leonard, which goes to 60 countries worldwide, distributes. So they're wow. they're in South Africa too. There's <laughs> and they um the book is going to be uh discussed in two panels that we'll be doing and lacy carpenter will be doing with hit songwriters producers and artists uh, on saturday july 20th uh in the afternoon so we're we're really excited about it It'll be video video and everything for a um, launch and everything on the internet um and so that's that's the story on that and then do you want me to say the other news or yes yeah. okay well <laughs> I've been, um, let's see, how, I, do you want just a real short, interesting story about it or how, or how it came well, about? Just, it? Yeah, just, well, we don't have a whole lot of time. So, uh, mm -hmm. because the show is only 30 minutes and we have mm -hmm. about 15 minutes left, I think. Um, mm -hmm. so I guess tell everybody this, just the brief version of it. Um, it, all of it's exciting though. <laughs> well, it happened really. I, I'd never, I didn't pitch the book at all. This book called the pickup guy. You may remember that me talking about the pickup guy. Um, and it was published by a smaller company that um, didn't really do a whole lot with the book or anything, didn't promote it or anything. So I asked for my rights back on it, and I got all my rights back. And um, there was a pub, um, he's a major TV film producer, um, was so excited about it. His wife found the information in a magazine in Nashville about the book. Wow. PR. Can you imagine that? I mean, I didn't pitch the book at all. Nobody. I don't, you know, it's like very mysterious. <laughs> anyway, he urged his, she urged her husband to read the, you know, consider it for a movie. She said it would make a great, great movie. It's a YA thriller. And um, Terry, would, I, Terry would like your book very much. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah. it's actually been pulled off the market at the moment, you know, so which is interesting. It will have a major release on it. But, uh, and I'll get to that in a minute, but if I have time. But the, so the, um, the book, um, so the producer looked at it, and he's a very wealthy um, producer and has um, his own film company and everything here in Nashville, and uh, was very, very excited about the book. And he said, yeah, it would, they were originally going to do it as a TV series, and it may still be a TV series, but right now it's a film. And and then, so all I can announce it now because it's all been signed. The contract's been signed. We did a celebration on Friday. And it, it was a live it up, whoop it up kind of thing. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, I got my first first check, so it's real. It's real. Cleared the bank. <laughs> yeah. That's weird. That's weird. Tell me that. Make sure it's cleared the bank yeah. before you can tell about the news. So it's <laughs> one one payment of several, you know, three or four or five checks, you know, that I'll be receiving. They get bigger and bigger as they go up, the, you know, the process. But anyway, the... So it's going to be a major, major motion picture um, that is going to be, I don't know when it'll be released. It's whether it's 2020, 21, 22, but, um, but I'm very excited. It'll be major actors. And there was some talk that it may be part of it may be filmed in South Africa. How do you like that? Huh? Whoop, whoop. I know. <laughs> <laughs> I said, well, I happen to know somebody. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. That would yeah. be. Isn't Amazing. that neat? Yeah, no. It's so, <laughs> you probably have a place to stay if you can talk them into going to Virginia's yeah. town, right? <laughs> yeah, so I'll say, come on, go on. Actually, actually, you know what? Um, a lot of major filming is done in South Africa. That's what I heard. Because of, because of our weather, and we've got studios here. Um, so a lot of major movies are shot in Cape Town. I, I know that for a fact. And I learned something. You correct me if I'm wrong on this. The producer said that uh, the uh, government there uh, offers forty percent payment to you to film there. Payment, I believe so. I'm not. I'm not hundred percent sure on the on the percentage. I'm not going to put my head on a block about that. Yeah, right, right. But I do. Uh -huh. I do know that there are major incentives for uh -huh. for uh -huh. coming here. So, and I think that's probably one of the reasons the good, the great weather, and the uh, financial incentive to shoot in South Africa. So he said they had to weigh between South Africa and Georgia. How do I like that? Because Georgia, <laughs> Georgia, Georgia, Georgia's not even a country. But 
That's like that's like sand to a mountain, you know. No, but the reason they said because Georgia offers a sixty percent or fifty percent incentive to film, and South Africa offers forty or something like that. But they mm -hmm. said that the cost would probably might make up the difference to film it in South Africa. So, well, this that's the other thing. Um, the major thing about why it's um, financially viable to shoot in South Africa because of the rand dollar exchange. The the, mm -hmm. the dollar to the rand is very strong, mm -hmm. and yeah. so there's a huge cost saving in um, in shooting in South Africa. Right. Wow. Well, that's so, cool. so, so that's how, so, and then the producer, they've already, he'll, he's already hired a major Oscar winning um, uh, screenplay writer. Isn't that exciting? Uh, and Terry, I told you, this is like our dream, right? Yeah, it, it is. It, it <laughs> only happens. It only happens in dreams. That's what I was saying. I mean, it just kind of like, it like boom, fell right in his lap and he went. Because okay. I, I could ask I'll, a thousand, I'll do, I could I'll ask this a thousand right. people and they would, they would, there'd be nobody in the thousand group that would say, They've ever had that happen, you know. So it's or Terry, Terry, I think your I think your publisher must be kicking himself. <laughs> no, it sounds like it. <laughs> well, um, <laughs> but the producer, the screenplay writer, has already been uh, hired, major bucks with it, and so the the screenplay writer is coming to Nashville, which I'm very excited. I get to meet him. Um, we have dinner and everything. That'll be. Um, because I don't know any screenplay writers, major screenplay writers. I mean, I'm still a green bee at this. I want to let y'all know that. I'm very green bee, green, greeny, or whatever. Yeah, you uh, won't be for long, right? Well, you won't be for uh, long. Yeah, and um, so what? I'll, so I get to see the first draft that he does, and he's going to be doing, like, I think three or four more drafts for that, that amount of money, and the, the whole thing gets finished in December 1st, Then I get a bigger check, uh, double what I've already gotten, um, for the screenplay finished. And then next year when they start doing the filming, then I, you know, get paid again, stuff like that. So, so Terry and I are on our third <laughs> legit book being published. Mm -hmm, and, mm -hmm. and so we have to get to how many before the well, you know, You're trying to ask me when the pickup got or how many? Yeah, books? exactly. Well, when got, this has happened. Got, so, well, yeah, what's the magic number? Well, I, don't, I don't know. Because there could be some other books. He's in he's in some the other books too, some other books. He's been asking me for all my books now to look at. Um, which is kind of cool. And I'm rushing to finish a new book that I'm working on now. Um, Mary knows about this. I'm trying to finish a book that he's very excited about it, possibly doing a movie on it too. Um, but uh, I've I've had twenty seven. Twenty seven is what I've had so far published. Traditionally, I know, I know but, Terry's like, oh my god. But but the pickup yeah, guy, <laughs> pick guy was written probably um, three or four books back, you know. So it yeah, but twelve, been, uh, twelve of your books. You you have twelve in a series that's a children's series, Correct. and then we have three in a children's series because our our third one's coming out in about six weeks. So we're really excited about that. Well, and no, then, there's no there's no yeah. rule about how many you have to have in a series, you know, right? Right. And so this one is one of your, this is a YA. So uh, it's, it's a kind of a totally different thing. But the cool thing about this, Terry, is it's based on true life stories. I'm not true so, life stories. Uh, this guy. Not my story. Who, yeah. So no, not, not Thornton. I'm life, not actually. the pickup guy. <laughs> <laughs> no, we're just going to call you the, the opportunities to fly out of this, the, the ceiling guy. That's what we're going to call your book. And, um, so it's and Thornton can tell if he wants to, but just kind of the premise of what it's about. But it it's cool. It's it's very interesting. Um, and it's so funny because when you told me about the book, it's really weird. I'm in the same place I was when you first told me you were writing the book. I'm actually in the same physical place the first time you ever told me about it. Isn't that oh, funny? Really? I, was, I remember where I was standing when you told me. I thought, whoa, okay, that's going to be a really cool book, and somebody's going to pick that up for TV or film. And that's exactly what my thought was. And then well, here it you got, are. It got three offer. It got three contractual offers, and I thought, wow, wait a minute, there's something maybe to this. I don't know. But well, it's so it's, go ahead. You, so go I'm ahead. guessing you don't know you don't know an author by the name of Rachel Klein. I heard that name. Yes. Where Where do you know her? Well, she was on a show about three, four weeks back, uh -huh. and she's a screen she's a screenplay writer. That's yeah. that's her day. That's her day job. Well, maybe I need, to get, we need to get together. 
<laughs> sí, sí. Absolutely. Yes, I wasn't. I was not on the show for that interview, I mean, but yes, business wise, but I mean business, nothing, nothing. <laughs> but now, I just thought it was interesting that you had the same surname, and when you said you don't know, you know, a screenplay writer, and I thought, but Rachel's a screenplay writer, and her surname's also Klein. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe you're related. I, I don't know. Maybe, but uh, <laughs> well, um, should I? Share, you wanted me to share just a little bit about what I am still holding on to as far as rights and all that. Maybe they'd be interested in that or people would be. Oh, yes, sure, please yeah. do. Well, I, they gave me two options on the contract, the producer did. One was option one where I sold out everything and I wasn't interested in that. And I consulted an attorney and other people, wisdom, wisdom. And so I ended up taking offer number, actually offer number one was the best offer. It was just for selling, or not selling, but the usage of my uh, TV and film rights. Because you see, at, when I got my rights back, all my rights back from the smaller company, they um, included the TV and film rights. So they have my TV, TV and film rights, that's what they pay for. But I maintain all my print, digital, and audio rights. Does that make sense? So in other words, um, Right now, I've been told by some attorneys to start looking for a major literary agent. I want to ask some opinion about that and to shop it and, and get a, a major book deal with a, a really maybe um, five-figure uh, advance, maybe not a six-figure. I don't know if I could get six-figure, but five-figure advance with it and have the book released in time for the movie or before the movie. That sounds awesome. That sounds like a great idea. You know, part of your kind of marketing strategy for the for both the book and the movie. Yeah, I, I didn't know. I mean, time will tell if it if it works that way or not. Now, I've also got another publisher that is interested in it and is a really uh, passionate publisher and loves you know what I do and everything. And um, so I've actually got an offer on there too to already publish it with us with a company that's up and coming company. So I'm just really having to make some big decisions here. So, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Terry and I are just like, we, just <laughs> we want to get our nice. best out. <laughs> oh, <laughs> nice to have that many decisions to make. <laughs> well, I, yeah. I just, maybe, I, well, Mary, when I were talking about it, she says, well, should I go with maybe a company that's really passionate, believes in me a million percent or whatever, and wants to, you know, push the book and book and, and just really – Trust is everything. Yeah, trust everything, but can't offer. Is not able to offer a, a an advance, or whether it should offer, or maybe go with a company. It might be a major, major company like uh, out of New York or someplace that uh, has some. Um, but I might be a real tiny sea fish in the sea, or minnow in the sea, or something like that, as compared to, you know, and they may not be that excited about me or anything like that, and um, but offer me a large, large advance. But the advance still has to come out of your royalties, right? So. Mm -hmm. It's hard. Hey, that's a good question for Terry. Now, with your I, your uh, YA books, did you get an advance with those books? Any of them? No. No. no did not get no. Okay. Okay. Because you it, know, I do want to say the woman at the Portland Library, Portland, Tennessee, was right on it. She said, I was, "This is funny." I was selling children's books and everything in a presentation, and she says, "Well, I'm going to give you a tour." So she took me over to this is the YA section, the young adult section. She said, "People read them in their teens all the way up to age 30." So she said, and she said, these are the biggest sellers, not only the biggest sellers, but they uh, make movies out of them. Everybody makes movies out of them. She said, uh, not, not out of children's or out of adult books. And certainly she was right. She's right. Why books are the hot So thing. there you go, Terry. You know, it may, you may be next, honey. It may really be. It, it would, you know, it's, it's, well, let me put it this way. There's the, um, I'm not, I don't want to name the name of the company. Okay. Cause that would be bad. I'm just going to say that. I just got two of my books back from a company here in the United States, the States, and um, and now the produce. I got all my rights back, and the, this producer's bought those two books. Can you believe it? And he's looking at them for possibly a film. So, what do you think of that? Yeah, it's pretty cool. It's very so, sure. So, it can happen. It can happen think it can happen to you. I don't. You know, it can. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. <laughs> I would expand that readership beyond age 30, though. <laughs> I'm in a, a book club of uh, young adult readers, and 
our readers go, well, our members go from age 20 up to the later 70s. Okay. Oh, really? Oh, that's yeah, really, that's yeah, it's awesome. wonderful. Then I need, I need to just be doing my books and I guess I don't know. <laughs> yeah, right, right. I know it's, it's a really hot genre. Hey, Terry, did you tell us your new book that's coming out? Did you give us a synopsis of what that one was about? Um, this one is about uh, genetic engineering. I wrote a little thing here so I wouldn't stumble all over it. Um, oh, yeah, please this read is, it. Uh, it's a futuristic sci-fi and through genetic engineering, diseases have all but been eradicated from the world. But now you have the wealthy people who live behind the gates of the colony and they have decided they would like to enhance their physical characteristics, which would involve genetic stripping, stripping of the genes, which results in death to the donor is what they call them. But it's actually people who are harvested, people who live beyond the gates of the colony who aren't in that wealthy society. So my main character is part of a rebel group who fights against the colony to prevent them from basically killing people and harvesting their genes. You know oh, what? That, that sounds like a great wow. movie. Wow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. what's, what's, what's it called? Um, right now it's tentatively titled Subject A36, which will be the first book in the series of The Colony. Mm -hmm. I, I think that sounds like a movie. Yeah. I, I mean, it, I, you're sitting here talking and my mind is going like this and I'm thinking of things that I've watched <laughs> that my girls have watched and I'm yeah. thinking they would totally watch that. Well, let me ask you Terry, has it got all the ingredients <laughs> that Hollywood would want? Yeah, do you have well, to ask me? It does. You know, they, 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 they want violence, sex, uh, everything. Well, this is young adult, so I don't really go into sex in my books. I know some young adult writers do. I'm not comfortable doing that. That no, would I'm be not either, but I'm just saying that's a scene. I could ever write. That's what but, the Hollywood, yeah, but there, there's Hollywood. always that you can always do that implementation. Yeah. That's oh, right, right. You know, and, without uh, going there, right? But I'm telling you, Terry, sure. that sounds very, that sounds like a a book that could be turned into a movie. Absolutely. Well, I think so too. I think someone should snatch it right up. <laughs> well, okay. We're talking to the people out there all well, over the world. Listen, <laughs> any, here. any producers, film producers, TV producers listening, might be somebody knows somebody or, you know. Sounds Absolutely. perfect. You never, you never yeah. know. It <laughs> sounds like a very interesting book. Well, thank you. <laughs> and when, when, it, when are you hoping, when are you hoping to get it out? It will be released February 13th of 2020. Okay. Well, we're going to get a copy. All of us are, right? We're going to do that to support you. And yeah, we're um, all to support each other. In fact, I wanted to share this, that there's too many people in this world, and Brissetti can say that. Everybody understands that. There's too many people in this world that get jealous and, uh, and on your on people on our successes and everything, and we shouldn't. We should actually be supportive of each other mm -hmm. and believing each other and uplifting each other up, correct? Don't you think so? I mean, and Absolutely. be overjoyed and happy about somebody else's success instead of being, you know, jealous of tearing somebody down, right? Correct? Oh, I, I totally agree exactly. with that. You know, there's this whole, I actually spoke to someone about it the other day and I said, you know, some people feel that they elevate themselves by pushing other people down. But in mm -hmm. fact, it works the opposite, opposite way. You know, right. if you exactly. lift other people, you actually <laughs> raise yourself in the process. Yes, it's you know, true. by by putting the focus on other people, that's it's the true. way to go. And you know, each person gets a turn. I believe next person's turn will be coming up. Your turn, you know, whatever. You know, it's like. <laughs> well, if Hopefully. you do it, when and when you do, then you just let me know, and we're going to bring you back on so you can share. Wonderful! I will. And be back. We all have a party. <laughs> a party celebrating. Very Parties well. are good. Yes, <laughs> that's very well, good. Are we invited to your red car red carpet premiere when your yeah. movie comes out? <laughs> can, I'll, I'll send invitations out, Brachetti. You can yeah. come if it's if it's held in South Africa or if it's held here in um in the in the states. Um, I was planning. I'm glad you mentioned that. Actually, there'll be probably one major one, but then also I was going to um I, yeah, I, I want to rent um like a movie theater like in the Nashville area uh to uh. To have a red carpet event, and invited my friends there too, but it could it could be held other places too. Terry only lives an hour from us, so she can come. Yeah, so right. got, you're definitely yeah. invited, of course. <laughs> Absolutely, yeah. That works we, for we, me. Yeah, we all met. What did we meet two years ago? Almost three years ago at the book festival, right? Yeah, Brigetti, did you hear that? Yeah, you're invited. You're also invited to the red carpet event, whether 
whether it be here in the states or maybe in South Africa, wherever. It Wonderful. So, so if they're shooting, the, if they're going to be shooting here in South Africa, possibly, will will you be traveling along with them? Yeah. Yes, of course. Yeah. So I get to. Oh I'll my! Get, yeah. Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Mary, <laughs> can you believe it? I may mm. actually meet Thornton before I meet you, girl. <laughs> well, that's, that's crazy. Just you need to go ahead and get your bedroom ready now, right? So, or your guest room. So. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> Don't, my guest room is all, my guest room is always ready. Oh, yeah, I know. I can't true. believe we've never met. We've known each other almost three years, and we've not met in person. We've got to figure that one out. So, <laughs> yeah. yeah, we well, absolutely um, do. I definitely, you know, um, all of you are included. I mean, you're invited, so you everything. So, yeah, I'm excited. I can't wait. I'm so excited. Yeah, but you know how films take a while. So I mean, it may be next year. It might be 2021 or 22. You know, something like that. So. Yeah. Wonderful. Terry, tell everyone how they can connect with you and where can they find your books? Oh, you can find my books on uh, Amazon. I have my Amazon page there also. Um, you can go to my blog. It's at uh, terrypolin.com. And uh, you can find my first five chapters of the Gemini Connection you can read for free. There's a link there on my website. And I'm on Facebook, Instagram. I'm almost everywhere, so I'm not hard to find. Mm -hmm. And Thornton, where can everyone find your box and how can they connect with you? Okay, Amazon, of course, so Barnes and Noble, um, Hal Leonard, HalLeonard.com, H A L L E O N A R D.com. Also, the uh, Thornton Klein with this N in the middle, Thornton, T H O R N T O N. People leave out the end and C L I N E uh, dot com. That's how you find so it. So thorntoncline.com. Mm -hmm. Yes. And yes. So very exciting. Well, you know, um, thank you guys for joining us for our one year anniversary. We're so excited. We're so excited what this next year holds for all of us, actually. So honored to be a part of this. And um, thank you all for having me on the show. I'm really honored and everything. And congratulations, yeah. Terry. To you, I'm really excited for you. Well, thank you, and congrats to you, and thanks for having me on the one year anniversary. Yay! <laughs> oh, and congratulations, it, Mary, too. Mary, Mary, and I have a contract. Yep, um, yep. Yes. Just mailed it off. Just mailed it off yesterday. Yeah. We're excited. Awesome. Fantastic. Well, I, I tell you, this was it was wonderful. Um, I mean, it brings back. Me. I can't believe it. It doesn't feel like a year since mm -hmm. we've had you on the no. show, and that we've you know we've been going for for full twelve months. Thank you for being part of our journey um, and for believing in us and, and coming in on as guests when we were completely green. We didn't know what we were doing in the beginning. <laughs> uh, that's so like I, I am green on the movie. Thing, right? yeah. <laughs> so thank you so much, everyone, for watching us live. Anyone watching on the replay, we'll see you back next week. And thank you for being a part of our one-year anniversary. Yeah. Thank you. Bye. 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 Bye, everyone. <laughs> On behalf of the flight crew, thank you for flying with us and have a pleasant day.